How's it going everyone? It's Coral with 8K Studios and today we're talking about building a French cleat tool wall. So for those who don't know, uh, French cleat is a really simple way of hanging whatever you can imagine. Uh, all it consists of is two blocks with opposing angles to connect each other. One mounts to the wall and the other mounts to whatever you end up hanging. For this project, uh, I bought a sheet of 4x8 uh, plywood, 3 quarters of an inch thick. I got the cheapest stuff because it really didn't matter for this application. And here you can see I'm just bringing it down to the size that I need. Now I'm making some strips to actually make the cleats out of. Uh, these cleats get mounted to the rest of the sheet of the plywood. And that's so I didn't do too much damage to the wall that I'm hanging this organization rack to. Here I'm ripping the angles down on those strips at 45 degrees. Now I'm just sanding off the edges. You don't need any sharp edges on the cleats. You just need the surface area to connect between the two. And this will help later when I go to paint everything. So as you can see I've marked out and laid out all these cleats, give me enough space to notch in tool sets between. And you could screw these in but I just used a bunch of glue and some finish nails and it worked out just fine. And again mounting that into the wall with screws after I use those nails to hold it in place. So here you can see uh, just laying out all these tools. Uh, this is a battery and a charger, and this is kind of how I figured out most of the tool racks that I built for this wall. Uh, end up looking for scrap, and that's how I built all these different tool containers as you'll see. Uh, that's another reason I painted everything to make it all kind of look matching. So you can mount whatever you really want on a French cleat as long as you attach that little cleat on the back and it sits in just nicely. Now it took me most of the first day just to rip down those cuts and put the whole wall together. Uh, but once I got the system down I really knew what it was going to take to get all the rest of the tools organized. A little clean up from the day before. I started out making another battery rack. Uh, because these batteries were such a different shape, I thought I was going to try something different. It did not work. Moved on to the drills and flashlight just to get my mind on something else. Now you can see I'm just using dowels just to hold these up. You can organize the tools however you'd like. Uh, this is just the way I've done it. Uh, and you'll see I use this method for hanging most of the tools uh, on this wall. It worked out really well for me and it was quick. So here you can see I'm using the same system I use for the drills to hold the saws off. Uh, I ended up using this for most of the tools on the tool rack. It worked out really well and it was really quick to put together. And I'm also building a little rack for blades and epoxy and some magnets to the end of that little ledge there to give them some security. And that actually worked out really well. So for tools like the sanders, I thought it was important to make sure I had storage for the belts as well as the tool itself. And this is finished ply, so I had to sand away where I was gluing to get a better connection. Here you can see I've decided to go back to the charger. It's a quick trick. 
When you're mounting anything with those holes in the back, like outlet strips or chargers, if you do a little piece of tape and dot where the screws are supposed to go, and then line it up on the wall or whatever you're mounting them to, it makes it a lot easier. Another little trick, uh, if you ever shoot a finish nail through a piece of wood and you don't want to cut it out, if you hit it with a utility blade just like this till you nick it, and then you wiggle it back and forth, eventually that metal will work at the point that you nicked it at and snap. Again, in veneer plywood, it doesn't work great, but if you're using hardwood and use that technique, it'll work out just fine. Here you can see the jigsaw holder come together. Uh, it actually came out really nice because you can pull the jigsaw right off the wall and use it. And there's a little space to the right. We 3D printed a blade holder for all the jigsaw blades. You'll see that later. And this plywood's a lot more used and abused. Uh, Griff and I both believe in reusing material as often as we can, and this came off of staging from a house on the construction site. Uh, but it actually worked really well for the orbital sander tool holder. And here we're giving everything a quick coat of paint. Now I did all this painting with a glue brush. Uh, it's definitely not a good brush if you want to leave a good finish. Um, but they're very cheap and I wasn't work worried about the finish on these. Just wanted to kind of coat them up, give it a cool look and make them all look uniform despite all being different plywood and pieces of scrap. You'll notice that not every tool holder is included in this build video. And that's because everyone has different tools and there's a thousand different ways you can mount these to a French cleat wall. Uh, this is just the way I did it and hopefully it gave you some helpful tips. So this project was actually pretty fun. Uh, all in all, it took about two days worth of work, uh, about 12 hours with most of that being filming this actual project. Um, the project itself was pretty affordable. That full sheet of plywood costs roughly $35 and then a little bit of money for screws and some glue. But in the end, all worth it. Thanks for watching. We appreciate all the support. Please like, subscribe, and check out some of our other social media and our website.